Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my buddy Leonard, I'm not Leonard, but he's Leonard. The gadget guy got me something. And he's like, you got to try this out. And I'm like, oh man, not, not another one. But he's like, test it out. Tell me how it goes. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to share it with you guys too. Stay tuned. So my buddy Leonard, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, uh, he goes on eBay and goes on shopping sprees. Anything unique in tennis, anything different in tennis, anything fun in tennis, he gonna get it. So this time he found this thing. I don't know if he found this on eBay or somewhere else, but it's called a mini STT. And it is an electronic device to measure the string bed tension of tennis rackets. So this is um, a German company that made this, I believe, MSV. If you guys know who that is, they make strings too. So I was like, I swear I've seen something just like this before. Maybe 20 years ago or longer. It's, I swear it looked just like this. And I didn't know what to do with it because I didn't have the instructions because it was lying around in that shop that I was working at. Uh, maybe they sent us a sample, but let's take a look at how this works. All right, so the operating instructions for the Mini STT. I've, I've read it already, so I'm not gonna go over the boring details with you. Um, so basically, this is already set for 100 head. Right, you can change that with the settings. Uh, when you're ready for this to go, you open this top part and the hook extends, see? So you pull this out and the hook extends out. And then when you're ready to clamp it on the string bed, you just push it down like that and it'll hook onto the strings. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with the racket. So, and then you hit the start button when there's three lines there, then it's ready to go. So I'm gonna show you right now how this works. Um, so the most accurate reading, as I always tell everybody, is once you get it off the machine, it should be dead on. I did this one at 46 pounds, Hyper G, 17, okay? I literally took this off two minutes ago. So it will and it should be on 46 pounds. What I'm gonna do is show you how to use it now. So it's telling me, according to the instructions, I gotta flip it around like this. I take the hook and I open it up like that, okay? I find the middle, I'm gonna go this way, the middle, which is that right there from where the main is, and in the middle here. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the hook into the middle like that. You see the hook just popped through there, right? And now I'm gonna clamp the bottom like this. Here, can you see that? I just clamped it like that. I just pushed it down, just like how I showed you in the beginning, okay? So now I'm gonna hit the start button. See the three lines, like the two sets of three lines? It's ready to go now, okay? So I'm supposed to hold it at here with the two fingers at like where the butt cap is as gently as I can without letting it go. Okay, so I'm not like gripping the crap out of it. I'm lightly holding it, okay? My lines are still, oh, get my lines back up. Okay, there's my lines, okay? So I'm supposed to get my, my finger and just knock it, okay? Like this. So I felt the vibration on the knock. And it says 41 pounds. So I'm going to try it again. Get my three lines. Hold it gently. 43 pounds. Try one more time. So I'm, I'm supposed to knock it right at the, the 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock area. 
43 pounds. One more time, I think I missed that one. Sorry, I'm gonna try to knock it one more time. Gently holding. There, that was a good knock. 41 pounds. So let's give it the benefit of the doubt and say it was 43 pounds, which isn't too far off where I wanted to go. One last time. 43 pounds. Okay. So let's, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to use my trusty ERT 300 that I use on a daily basis to see how accurate this mini STT is. So I'm just going to do the same thing. This is 34 on this, but I have to go and convert. 34, 40, 49 pounds, according to that. See, in the mid plus range, when that comes up, 34. So this is measuring a little more. So I'm gonna reposition and do one last time. See if it comes up the same. 34. Nope, that's accurate. One last time. I want to just reposition this one last time. Because I want to give it a fair shake, you know. I'm going to face it to me and see if that makes any changes. Nope, that didn't read. There you go, 47. Okay. One more time. My knuckles are hurting. 47. Okay. So you do have to use it a couple times, maybe reposition it, but I did it at 46, it's reading at 47. Uh, and so this is reading at 49. So we're in realm. So this does kind of work. So, so my buddy Leonard uh, looks like he might've found something here that uh, would read your string tension uh, really well. But you kind of have to go through the steps that I just did. Uh, but it's it seems like it's it does a pretty good job. Uh, he told me that he paid $85 for this online. And I think he said he got it from like MSV online. It's a German company. So um, I definitely recommend trying something like this if you're into string tension like i know a lot of you guys ask me questions about this stuff so hey, give it a shot uh, it's called the mini stt let's see if i have an address here for you oh it's yeah here you go it's msv it's mauve sports or mauve sports uh, is who makes it uh, msvtennis.com there is the website all right so before I go, if you guys want to support my coffee habit, uh, you know I drink black coffee every morning, no matter what, so that I can get going to get, to get videos up for you guys. So if you want to support me and support the channel, uh, check out buy me a coffee uh, backslash tennis spin. Uh, link will be on the bottom. Thank you in advance. And thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis.